we had a presentation. It's called "Waiting for the Great Leap Forward." Um, you were talking also about the, uh, the, about positioning. What are the main benefits instead of using floats? I'm not sure whether there are benefits, but there are lots of there's lots more flexibility that you can okay. do with positioning. Um, one, of, one of the interesting things about floats when you start to use them extensively, I mean I use floats all the time for creating columns and layouts for kind of left hand sidebars and, and main content areas. That's, that's an absolutely appropriate use of floats but when you start adding more and more floats into a, in, into a, a structure with CSS it can become very complicated and when you want to make changes to the markup later on sometimes those constructs, those containers that you've created can you know, fall apart. Okay. So the other, the other thing with floats is that often um, the markup that you write is very tied to the presentation. It's very tied to the design that you want to accomplish. Whereas positioning gets a lot closer to this idea that we separate out the content from how it looks. Okay. And um, uh, doesn't the, don't the uh, developers argue with you which one is uh, uh, because your your vision is from a design point of view? Don't you get a lot of arguments if it's if it's uh, useful to do, do your way? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a designer, but I also write a lot of code. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I kind of understand it from both sides. Yeah. I do have arguments with developers who sometimes say. Um, yeah, but you created this thing and it looks great, but it's only got six images. Yeah. Um, you know, we work in, a, in, a, in a, a company where maybe there'll be seven images, so your solution doesn't work. Yeah. And my answer to that is, well, plan for when there's seven images. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Think ahead. This stuff it isn't rocket science. No, okay. You know, we're not solving, like, world peace or, you know, <laughs> inventing nuclear fission. Okay. This stuff is really not very complicated. What you need to do is to plan ahead. Yeah. And it's very easy to do that so that you can get into a situation where with CSS, maybe you can say, do you know what, I'm going to have situations where I've got three images, six images, I've got maybe odd numbers of images and even numbers of images. So I'm going to create CSS that does both odd and even. Okay. And then I can do a simple switch in the CSS okay. so that when there are eight images, it changes maybe a class on the body element to even. Okay. and shows you eight in a nice frame. Okay. You just need to plan ahead. Good planning. Developers, developers are always really grumpy yeah. about <laughs> things that you know, may or may not happen in the future. You know, just plan ahead. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you, you, you talk to other, uh, other people here, other keynote speakers here. Did you, uh, did you have these kinds of discussions or did you learn anything from them? Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot. I mean, okay. Steve, Stephen Hay, who was talking yeah. at this conference about maintainable CSS, he did a, a great presentation. Okay. Um, was it new for you? or? Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of the stuff that he does, I already do, but the yeah. way that he explained it to people was very refreshing. So okay. he's a, a really good guy to, to watch out for. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, one of the interesting things about coming to these conferences is what you learn from other exactly. speakers. Exactly. And yeah, that's what makes them so great. Okay. Uh, is there still more to explore on CSS, or do you think we know all the parts new. If we want to design really boring things, yeah. then we've, we're done. Right? If we want to do some of the really cool things, if we want to look at flash sites and we want to look at sites for movies and music and, and when we look at flash sites and we think, oh, I really wish I could do that, then yeah, we solve, we can create these little challenges for ourselves and, and do more with CSS. But if we just want to design everything the same, lame design that we've been doing for ages, yeah. then yeah, it's easy and my dog can do it. Okay. But, you know, doing the cool stuff, doing the experimental stuff. Yeah. No, there's loads of places to go with that. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice time in Amsterdam. Pleasure. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You.